Hey guys, Nick here, and as the title says above, I'm going to be talking about the new Arrow Season 4 suit for Diggle, and delving into what I think it means for the character, what it means as a whole, what my reactions to the suit itself, and uh, we'll just start things off. Um, this is my first video in what feels like a really long time. Um, for most of you guys who watch my stuff regularly, um, you know, I've been out reviewing Flash and Arrow this past season. And up until recently, I, I know that this is kind of going off topic a little bit, but up until recently, I almost, I was thinking about giving up on Arrow, not reviewing it, possibly watching it, but maybe not even that. Just because I feel like last season as a whole was really disappointing. The writing was all over the place and how they treated Oliver and how they focused more on Olicity than actually good storytelling and how they whitewashed Ra's al Ghul. And there's so many things going on with it that I just didn't like and I didn't enjoy as a fan. There are a few things that I can say about the show that I actually liked this past season. Diggle being one of them, he's... Because I felt like for most of the season, like, like like they threw Diggle in some really shitty circumstances. And between like Oliver Kidding having his wife and then him having a daughter and all, all the things he was going through as a character... I enjoyed him and everything that Laurel went through, all that. I mean, I, I know I'm really veering off topic. I'm just saying it's good to be back. And after watching the season four promo trailers and all that stuff, I'm more interested in seeing where the season goes, especially now that they're actually going to be calling Oliver Green Arrow. But to actually talk about the video, the costume itself, um, actually, I'll pull it up here. Um, actually, when I first saw it, I got to admit, I felt like everyone else, it just looked like a really, really bad knockoff of Magneto. And he looked like Red Hood meets Magneto. I mean, with, with the motorcycle look and then the, the weird helmet. And I gotta say, like, at first I really hated it. And it's funny because like, me and my girlfriend actually were talking about it. And she hates it more than I do. But the more I thought about it, the more I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. It's not, I'll get over it. But then, like, last week, they pulled up some pictures of Diggle and stuff from the season premiere and actually has a visor come down. And to me, that makes the helmet look somewhat better. Because I remember at Comic-Con, they showed like some like concept art of Diggle suit. And it was kind of hard to tell because the pictures I saw were kind of blurry and far away. Because they're from pictures of someone that took it at Comic-Con. And what, they're looking at it, I'm like, okay, it's cool, whatever, I guess. It's kind of plain looking. But I mean, overall, as a co other, the, the helmet aside, the costume itself doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not like really a costume, but it's just a lot of leather. I mean, it's, it's CW, so they got plenty of leather. But, um, I was the helmet at first looked really, really dumb. But, I mean, after a while, I'm just like, okay, whatever, I'll have to get used to it. But now, like, the, the whole visor thing that comes down, I mean, it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Diggle's not going to be seeing very well anyway. And that's, that's probably one of my bigger gripes. And, I don't know, as a whole, I think, what this means for the characters, I mean, obviously... When we see Diggle going out in the field with Oliver and stuff, it's kind of ridiculous that, like, Roy's in costume, uh, Laurel's in costume, Oliver's in costume, and here's Diggle just prancing around, which is his leather jacket and his gun. Just, I mean, it's kind of funny, because it's like, he's, he's so cool that he doesn't need a costume. And that's something that even Steve Amell talked about uh, at one point last season. But, I, I felt like that Diggle needed a costume, and of course, there's a lot, like, a lot of rumors going around that Diggle was actually Jon Stewart, the Green Lantern. Which I was always hoping for, but I mean, I didn't. I mean, I kind of didn't get my hopes up too high because I, I figured it wasn't gonna happen anyway, and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So, I just think this is this means for the character that we're gonna see an evolution in Diggle as well as his relationship with Oliver. Because obviously, at the end of last season, we see them in a very rough and rocky place, considering what Oliver did when he when he was with the League of Assassins, and between Oliver dying dying the first time. And all that stuff went on with the League of Assassins and the finale. I understand. I mean, I, I don't blame Diggle for wanting to, to keep himself away from Oliver and not wanting to be involved with Oliver. But I can just tell, like, this is obviously going to be a really important season for them two as characters. Hopefully, the writers don't let me down. But I really... I, I want Oliver and Diggle to be close again. Because that's what I feel like towards the end of the season, like, it lacked. Because like, I was... I mean, on screen, I, I sympathize with Diggle. I mean, I I thought Oliver was an asshole. I mean, I didn't really care for Oliver much last season. I cared more about Diggle. But, I mean, as 
a fan of the show, I really hope they treat both characters and their relationship with each other right. And I hope that with Diggle not being out on the field and him being his own vigilante or hero, whatever you want to call it, and with this costume that hopefully will get upgraded at some point, um, I hope that this means that the characters are going to go through their own growth in their relationship. So that's, that, that'll be it for me, guys, until um, the show premieres. I just want to do a quick video. I mean, I've been wanting to talk about this for a few weeks, but, you know, I'm busy with my own life and school and my girlfriend and everything. So for the time being, that's going to be it for me. So until the show premieres, have a good one, guys.